Henry VIII is remembered today for being the sixth wife to shoot a monarch who orchestrated the executions of two of his wives. He's known for being a brutal man, and someone who would get whatever he wanted. Not many people dared to cross Henry, and he was a king who also had a number of mistresses. The most high-profile mistress he had was Mary Boleyn, the sister of the woman who would become his second wife. But if the king wanted to sleep with a woman at his court, the husband of the women would have little say in this, and the expectation was that the women would be sent to Henry VIII's bedchamber in the evening. Very few ladies rejected this idea, and were encouraged to sleep with the Tudor king to advance their families and standing at court. But the king did have a number of illegitimate children. But there is one which today is very forgotten about, and very little is documented about her life and also her fate. But who was Ethelreda Moult, the reported illegitimate daughter of King Henry VIII? Ethelreda, who is sometimes referred to as Audrey, was born around 1527 to 1535, and she later became an English courtier. However, there were many reports at the time and claims that her father was in fact Henry VIII. It's believed that her mother was Joan Dingley, one of Henry VIII's laundresses, and Joan is also listed in records as Joan Dobson, and she was a woman who was considered a member of the lesser nobility, and she was not a prominent player at court. This means that Henry VIII must have had his eye caught by Joan, or that she was attractive enough to captivate the king. Of course, for a woman of Joan's status, to sleep with the king would have been a huge thing, and would have been something she probably wouldn't have turned down, and she could have been rewarded with great wealth and also power. Henry VIII during his reign did have an illegitimate son with Bessie Blount, Henry Fitzroy, and this child was shrouded in titles and great wealth. However, despite this affair, which could have occurred during the marriage between Henry VIII and Catherine of Aragon, or the marriage between Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn, it produced a child and a daughter named Ethelreda. Henry VIII himself never openly acknowledged Ethelreda as his daughter, but he did give his tailor, John Moult, land, a property including St Catherine's Court, a large manor house in Somerset. He did this, as John actually recognised Ethelreda as his illegitimate daughter, and with this took the shine away from Henry VIII. However, in 1547, John Moult, the step-in father of Ethelreda, died when she was not too old, and with this John left money in his will for her. With this, she was considered a rather well-off heiress of his lands and estates, and Ethelreda, in 1548, married John Harrington. Her husband was a well-off official at the royal court, and he served the Lord High Admiral Thomas Seymour, the later executed uncle of Henry VIII's son, Edward VI. Ethelreda had already been engaged, allegedly, to an illegitimate grandson of Sir Richard Southall, a privy councillor, but this was called off. Through her marriage, Ethelreda brought many properties to the family, including them owned by the Shaftesbury Abbey, which was acquired during the dissolution of the monasteries. This made her a rather well-off woman, who owned a significant amount of land. However, following the death of her father, Henry VIII, her fortunes remained positive throughout the reign of her father's son, Edward VI. She had a daughter named Hester, but during the reign of Mary I, her fortunes would change. On the 18th of March, 1554, Ethelreda was summoned to be part of Princess Elizabeth, future Elizabeth I's ladies inside the Tower of London. Mary I had been on the throne roughly a year, and she suspected her half-sister Elizabeth of being involved in plots against her, and with this she ordered Elizabeth to be locked up inside the Tower of London. Elizabeth was furious with this, as the tower had a horrific reputation of personal bloodshed for her, as her mother, Anne Boleyn, was executed inside the walls of the infamous fortress. But Ethelreda was one of the ladies who was there to wait upon Elizabeth I, and she could have been her rumoured half-sister, if, as believed, she was fathered by Henry VIII. Elizabeth was imprisoned on suspicion of causing a rebellion, and in the tower, she lived rather well to begin with, 
but her imprisonment did get tougher. Inside the Tower of London, it's believed that Ethelreda and Elizabeth did grow close and had a bond, as following the death of Mary I, Ethelreda would be there at the coronation of Elizabeth I on the 15th of January 1559. However, tragically, she died within the same month, around the age of 30, which was considered quite young still during the Tudor period, especially for a woman who had a significant amount of wealth. She would have had a prominent role in Elizabeth I's court and certainly would have been one of her ladies-in-waiting or maids of honour. It is believed that she may have died at St Catherine's Court, her residence near to Bath, and that she was possibly buried in the church next door. However, the church records for the Tudor period have been lost. This would mean, if true, that the forgotten and lost daughter of Henry VIII lies in a grave that today is unmarked, in a church which does not know that an important Tudor woman is buried there. Within two months of Ethelreda's death, her husband had remarried. But the real story of the forgotten, illegitimate child of Henry VIII is one that is not the clearest. We know that she died at a young age, and we are not entirely certain when Ethelreda was born. This would be interesting, as it would have been captivating to see if her mother was a mistress to Henry VIII during the marriage to Anne Boleyn. But Henry VIII may not have acknowledged Ethelreda for a number of reasons. The first may have been as he did not want to upset his wife at the time, but chances are the fact that he had slept with Joan Dingley, his laundress, would have been talked and gossiped about heavily. Another reason is that for the king to acknowledge his illegitimate children was a big thing, and we know that Henry VIII had a number. Fitzroy was the exception to this, and it's believed that Henry VIII also could have been the father to Mary Boleyn's children, meaning he was the father of his nieces, even when he married Anne Boleyn. But the story of Ethelreda is one which is forgotten, and she was close with Elizabeth I, as the Queen was a princess, and this quite possibly was her half-sister. And the chances are that the pair would have spoken about this. Ethelreda today is the forgotten illegitimate daughter of Henry VIII. Thank you for watching, and to support, please subscribe to Her Remarkable History. Thank you.